fulfilling the mandate is going to be the new ethos of this program. From now until high noon on January 20th, when President Donald Trump says, so help me God, and lifts his hand off the King James Bible, this program will be primarily focused on fulfilling the mandate. You, the American people, gave the president and gave his entire team, gave all of us marching orders. We don't get to decide what happens. You told us that you want your borders closed, you want business as usual to change, that you want no men in women's sports. And keeping the feet to the fire is incredibly important on this, but I have to say, I, being at least seeing, witnessing some conversations and being part of some, I was so encouraged that at least a weekend, this is not the good old boys network that is rolling in. And let's look at just some of the picks that President Trump has made. Now, mind you, the Elise Stefanik pick is not confirmed. It, it is not confirmed. So that is, if you have not seen it on President Trump's Truth Social, it is not confirmed, okay? However, Susie Wiles, amazing, she earned it. And then the one that is confirmed, Tom Homan, the beast, the man, officially the borders are. This is how important the border is to President Trump. Fulfilling the mandate, the former ICE director. I do a chief of staff number one and a border czar number two. That's pretty important, everybody. Think about that. Chief of staff, border czar, right out of the gate. President Trump is obsessed with making sure that he does what the American people voted for. Telegraphing priorities. You know, caravans are already starting to break up and go back to their home countries. Caravans are already starting to say, you know, we've had enough. This is Tom Homan. Let's begin with his dialogue with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Play cut 336. And so the recommendation of the many that you recommended, you recommended family separation. I recommend a zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is whenever a U.S. citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If parents. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separated that Mr. father Holman, from his Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go to the port of entry. Do it the legal way. Do it the legal way. Tom Homan is a wrecking ball into this open border scam that we are living through. This is a major power play by President Trump saying, no, I'm not going to be manipulated by you. A spine of steel. So number one is chief of staff, and before even all the deputy positions are filled, before a national security advisor, and we know how rare this is. Typically, the standard operating procedure is chief of staff, the deputies, the clerks, and then you go into all the national security positions. But guess what? The border is a national security position. And President Trump turns with his transition. Number one, chief of staff, which of course you need to do. You need to make sure the air traffic control has some sort of regular order. And then boom, number two, straight out of the gate, borders are. We've never seen this in American history. In the final weeks of the campaign, President Trump kept repeating the border is his number one priority. And this is a clear message to DC. We're gonna get this thing solved. I've never been more hopeful even in the four years of the first presidency of Trump, that we are going to have a sealed and closed border. And you know who that's good for? It's good for the young girls that are being sex trafficked from the southern countries. It's good for all the kids that are dying from fentanyl. Tom Homan will solve this. The guy's a beast. He's as good as it gets. Play cut 335 of him on 60 Minutes. Is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. As good as it gets. By the way, he served under Obama. This, this, this guy understands the issue at the border. He's going to be the field marshal. Think of this guy as the general patent of the United States southern border. That's right. He is going to be the guy that calls the shots. 
And I think a military analogy is exactly appropriate. And we need that, need that kind of lead, follow, or get out of the way mindset that, jo that George Patton would give. Tom Homan, the George Patton of the southern border. He's been there. He's, he knows every detail. He knows everything a border agent can do and can't do. He knows how to work with all the inner agencies. And he is an ice cold. I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to say it. He's, he's as good as it gets. Look, we're taking back the country and you guys did it. It has not even been a week and you now have a border czar. And, and, and by the way, the good news is just going to start flowing, everybody. It's just going to start flowing. And from what I've been able to see from the meetings with Howard Lutnick, who is the chair of the uh, transition, he keeps on asking, hold on. Are you going to fulfill the mandate? Are you going to do what the president wants? There is this repeated theme, which is just so refreshing to witness. Again, in my small little pieces here or there, you know, went to dinner, nothing, nothing too serious. And I want to get deep into the Senate leadership stuff, but I, I, I want to hold on that for a second. The Senate leadership thing is so incredibly important because it, it, it is a question of whether or not President Trump will be able to get his agenda implemented. But I want to make one other point here, which is if you look at this from a God has a plan perspective, which as you know, on this program, we believe that God is sovereign and that God has a plan for all of us. If Donald Trump would have stayed in the White House uninterrupted from 2016 to 2024, I cannot say confidently that 2020 through 2024 would have this kind of urgency. I mean, the, the, the energy and the focus and the determination, I mean, Susie Wiles is just doing terrific from organizing everything. Does it fit in to what we told voters? In fact, I saw somebody with the transition team, they had something printed. You know what it was? It was all the promises that President Trump made on the, on the campaign trail. And he said, this is what we're focused on. Boom, boom, boom. There's not some sort of other agenda like when Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. What you heard from President Trump in public is now getting executed in private. It's getting acted upon in private. Accountability is incredibly important. And again, I, I, of course, I want to manage your expectations, everybody. There'll be good picks, and then there'll be picks that, you know, you scratch your head. There, of course, going to have to be some deal-making, because it's, it's D.C. However, the, the direction is just going to be terrific. It's just tremendous. It's terrific, actually. So the American people delivered a clear and resounding message, heard around the world the greatest comeback story in American history. Do we have John Carl from ABC News, by the way, this last weekend, saying that it, this has never happened before in American history? I know I sent it yesterday. It, it, it's a terrific clip. And, and we can't move on, by the way. You know, somebody said, Charlie, when do I stop celebrating? Th th there, there is no end to this. I want to be very clear. You are entering a golden era for America. And yeah, look, they might try some big economic collapse thing. They might try some sort of, okay, but bring it up. We're ready for it this time. This is a team of all-stars that has been hardened by the COVID propaganda. I know myself, I, I am a better communicator, better person. I am wiser because of what I went through through COVID. And a lot of people died. But you look back at that and you say, you know what? We turned something really awful into something pretty good. What the enemy means for evil, God will use for good. Genesis 50, 20, one of the last scriptures of Genesis. And so here we are with the table set to act upon all the things the president said. This is John Carl from ABC News. Cut 344, please. In just 71 days, Donald Trump will be sworn in again as president of the United States. His comeback victory, unlike anything we have ever seen in American history. Just take a look at the final results. With Arizona now projected for Trump, he locks in a sweeping victory in every single battleground state. And Trump did more than that. He made big gains with young voters and with Latinos, doing better among Hispanic voters than any Republican presidential candidate since the first exit polls were conducted in 1976. He even did better among women than when he ran against Joe Biden. Even did better with women. Look, everybody, you guys did this. I, every day I said, what are you guys doing? And honestly, the emails that we've received are breathtaking. There is one man, and I feel really bad about this guy, because it's just, it, it, he should sue. 
this one guy that drives a truck, what was his name again, Mikey? He quit his job because his business, his truck driving business said you can't vote. He quit his job to go back to Arizona to go vote for President Trump. I mean, I it just, when we say that people would crawl over broken glass, this guy quit his job. I pray he find what? This guy's name is Randy. I want to help Randy out any way we can. We should help him out if, if he gets in a financial um, issue there. That's what this movement is all about. There's a grittiness. There's a hustle. There's a determination to the core of this movement. And you guys took the country back. And it's not as if you took the country back and all of a sudden you got a bunch of stuff, you know, that uh, is not going in the right direction. You voted for a secure border. You got the best the business has to offer. Tom Homan. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. We're doing so much good work here at Turning Point USA. Also, get your tickets to AmFest. That's AmFest.com, the biggest party of the year in Phoenix Convention Center. We have Tucker Carlson and really big speakers coming. I'll be there. It's going to be unbelievable. Meet your future husband, future wife. It's going to be great. AmFest.com, A-M-F-E-S-T.com. Get there. Uh, go get the tickets. It's going to be amazing. And again, please subscribe and hit this bell. We appreciate it. And if you listen to audio podcasts, subscribe to the Charlie Kirk Show podcast. That's Charlie Kirk Show podcast. We won, everybody. We won. I need to get this hat. Daisy, can you get me one of these hats? We won. And uh, if you guys want a limited edition signed MAGA hat right here, last thing I'll say is become a member, members.charliekirk.com, to get a limited edition MAGA hat. We have 5,000 to send out, don't we, Daisy? Over, like 8,000 We have 8,000 hats I have to sign. 8,000 hats. God bless.